Space between heaven and earth is pervaded by you alone. Also the quarters, directions of the sky, or exalted one, when this wondrous terrible form of yours is seen, the three worlds tremble. The Supreme Soul alone fills the distance between heaven and earth and all the directions. Arjun cannot see anything else. You must understand this verse a little. Until now the beautiful description was taking place, and now a frightening description has come. It is clearly written here that a terrible form of the Supreme Soul can be seen. There is terror there. I said at the beginning that the 11th chapter has the feelings of peace and at the same time has the feelings of terror, the taste of fright and the taste of might. There are two forms of the Supreme Soul, the Ugra Sarup, the terrible form, and the Surya Sarup, the beautiful form. But on the majority of occasions when we see, the religions of the world have accepted the Surya Sarup, the beautiful form. Not only that, but the religions of the near past and the new religions of sects have accepted the Surya Sarup, the beautiful form of the Supreme Soul. And the more you go back in history, then you see that the more that Ugra Sarup, the terrible form of the Supreme Soul, has been accepted. Look at Vedas. The flashing lightning and the thunder in the clouds have been called God. The Supreme Soul was seen in these. This is because there is terror in them. But then there is also wonder in it because the Vedic Dharma is a very balanced Dharma. There is also the Usha Sukta, the hymn and praise of the Goddess of Dawn. The rising sun and the twilight are beautifully described by the Rishis. There is also the Indra Sukta, the hymn and praise of Indra, the king of the gods. There is also the Pajanya Sukta, the hymn and praise of the god of the rain clouds. But there is also a description of terror. Everything comes there. On the other hand, in Christianity, the Bible is divided into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. When both of these come together, then the full Bible is made. The New Testament contains descriptions of wonders. For example, if you read the Sermon on the Mount, then it's very wondrous to read. But if you read the Old Testament, then you see descriptions of the Ugrasaru, the terrible form of God. God is seen as a punisher. Whatever one does will be seen, and if they commit a sin, then there will be a punishment. That is why you see that the theme of sin is very big in Christianity. Poor Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden and ate the apple, ap apple so that thereafter everything that happened in the world has been sin, sin and sin. Whatever you do will be punishment. This is a concept in the Old Testament. The Supreme Soul of the Old Testament is a punisher and the Ugrasa, the terrible form. But with the New Testament came Christ. If you look at the New Testament and stories of Jesus, then you will not see terror in it. The idol of compassion sits on the cross and you feel as if you should go right now and take it off. This is how it feels. It feels like an idol of compassion. There is no terror on it. That is why it is balanced. We commit sins, and in front of the God who punishes, there is Christ who is an idol of compassion who has come. In the same way it is so in Islam. I'll not go too much in detail, but if you always look, then at the beginning, there is a lot of terror, and slowly and slowly, the soulless root, the beautiful form, comes. If you look at the recent religions, then the God in them is so wondrous. For example, the Pushti Marg, the Pass of Grace, there is the Baal Krishna, the childless form of Sri Krishna. There is no terror in this form at all. The Lord has worn such nice clothes of silk and jewelry with diamonds. We give these to God to wear, and we make sweet every morning and offer them to God. Then God consumes them, and God rests. This is a very sonia soul, the beautiful form of God. This is because this is the God of recent times. There are the thoughts and the branches of Hinduism of the last 500 years. The reason why I say that Sanatana Dharma is a very balanced that religion is that if you look at it from one side, then there is Mataji, the mother goddess. You can see it's such a very beautiful and innocent idol of Mataji, the mother goddess. But if you look at her vehicle, it is a tiger. The beauty and terror runs, in, uh, run together during the days of Narachi. There is a very nice combination. Where can be, there be more of a loving and compassionate idol than a mother? Where can you find the love that you can find in the eyes of a mother? You cannot find it anywhere. There is a compassion and beauty in the eyes of the mother. But what is that beauty sitting on? It is sitting on the tiger. This is the combination of unity in terror and beauty. There is a combination of Ma Kali, the Supreme Mother Goddess of Power, Ma Lakshmi, the Supreme Mother Goddess of Wealth, and Ma Sarasati, the Supreme Mother Goddess of Wisdom. If you look at the form of Ma Kali, the Supreme Mother Goddess of Power, then you see that it is ferocious. She is black in color, her eyes are red, she wears a necklace of skulls, and her hair is out. One gets scared upon seeing her, her tongue is sticking out. But this is her form, she is power, and even she is worshipped. On the majority of times, whenever there is terror in life, the human beings close their eyes. But the Supreme Soul is both terrible and beautiful, that is God in totality. This is the greatness of Sri Krishna, you see this here in the 11th chapter. A mother can make her eyes ferocious, and can make her eyes red, and the same mother can give you chocolate. A mother is not one who only gives chocolate. If I make a mistake, then the mother makes her eyes red as well. 
for the God is both beautiful and terrible, and both must be accepted. A true devotee accepts both. At the moment, Arjun is at the peak of bhakti devotion, and that is why he can see both. That is why Arjun did not close his eyes when he saw Tara. He did say that, O oh, exalted one, when this wondrous, terrible form of yours is seen, the three worlds tremble. The three worlds fear the Lord. This is an acceptance of God in his totality. If there are two ways of recognizing Shri Krishna, then on one hand you have the peacock's feather and the flute, on the other hand you have the Sudarshan chakra, the spinning discus. The peacock's feather and the flute is a beauty, whereas the Sudarshan chakra and spinning discus is a terror. There is a combination of the two. Arjun had a vision of both of them. Now what is Arjun seeing? Until now Arjun had been seeing the Supreme Soul in the Supreme Soul and the Gods in the body of the God of the Gods. Now Arjun has come a little into the field of reality, but without leaving the visual of the universe form. He is now even seeing reality in the visual of the universe form. This is not just fantasy and a proof of this is found here. Arjun is seeing the reality. What reality is this? We will see in the next verse.